into the system as a pay bill form here, which will then record it as a decrease to the checking account. And then when it clears the bank feeds, we can match it uh, to to with 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 this form. So I'm going to say, let's uh, let's say we're going to say save and close. So we matched it here, and let, this should be in 24. Let's say it happened on uh, oh oh three twenty four two four. So let's say that's when we were, and let's say we didn't actually write a check, but maybe we did an electronic transfer that is going to go through. Will that allow me to do it? Save and close. Okay, and then if we go into our our banking, it would eventually, you know, clear the bank once we have that electronic payment that was that we just uh, recorded manually cleared the bank. Then it would come through to the bank. So we recorded these transactions that kind of matched up uh, exactly to the receipt. But if I enter, see this one has a a match, one match found, and it's matching up the bill now. So now it's matching up this bill. So that's how you can you can kind of format that. So if you wanted to use the receipt to then enter the transaction, generally you probably want to go through that accounts payable system. So you get the receipt, you say you give me that, I'll reimburse you. You create a bill with it and then you want to actually generally uh, pay the bill and then when the payment goes through the bank feeds you could match the pay bill here that you've al you've already recorded it right in other words if i go to my balance sheet when we paid the bill the accounts payable went back down so i already recorded the decrease to the accounts payable so it went up and it went back down and then the other side if i exit this out goes into the checking account so if i go into the checking account uh and we say that the there was the check that's going out of the checking account so if i go into that check there's the bill payment now that bill payment once it clears the bank if i go back on over and exit and say once it clears the bank it will then should match out it should most likely be able to find that bill based on the amount and the date and, and tie it out. And so then we can just say match, no new transaction happening at this point in time. We're just matching it out. So that's one that's one scenario that you can have with a contractor and employee, uh, you might, or you know, some reimbursement type of situation you can imagine using the receipts for that. Now, if I go back on over to the receipts, another way that you might have the receipts or use the receipts is if you're a sole proprietor and you use your own you're trying to separate your business account from your personal account and you do but you do something where you are where you use your personal money to pay for a business expense and you want to take a picture of the receipt so that you can put it in your expenses uh, for your taxes and whatnot so let's imagine for example that we have this one let's just go into this one here and we're going to say all right this was the restaurant now this was a business meal this is a very important business meal that we had but we paid for it with cash that was personal or for with my personal credit card so i take a picture of the receipt and with my app or whatever and then i put it into quickbooks and now i need to make a transaction i can't match it to the bank account because i didn't pay it with my bank or my business credit card i paid it with my personal credit card or cash or my personal side so now i have to add it to my books so what's the transaction that that needs to happen here well if if i'm going to call this meals and entertainment that was business i need to have an expense of meals and entertainment and the other side would have to go you would think like to draws right because i'm because i'm reimbursing uh you know my myself or it could go to you know it's the it could go to an equity account right because uh, i paid it personally so i could put it directly to an, an equity account. So that's one thing we can do. So in other words, you might, one way you can do this is you can say, okay, I'm not gonna create, maybe you don't wanna create a bill with it. Maybe you don't wanna reimburse yourself or make a financial transaction. You're just gonna say, I'll just make like a journal entry uh, with it. So if you made a journal entry with it, you'd say, I gotta increase the expense account. And then, so let's say it was for 46.58. The journal entry would look something like this. 
uh, I, it would be like the account would be meals and entertain entertainment or something like that business meals or something it would be an expense side of things it would be an i'm just going to say other business expense meals and entertainment and we'll save it and i forgot what the amount was again but it was like 58 let's just say and then the other side would be going to some equity account like draws now you're actually kind of increasing the the equity account you can call it an investment account but you might have a one equity account that's increasing and decreasing for the draws and possibly the investment so i'm going to net them out in draws so the, it's going to be into uh draws i have home office draws so i'll, I'll just say call draws in general and then i'll make it to be an equity type of account and then we'll, we'll, we will put it into uh owner's equity let's say draws with an s maybe and then i will save it and then you might put in the description that this is this is something you paid with personal paid with personal uh account or something like that in the description but notice there's no easy way to attach that receipt this way. I mean, you've got your attachment over here. So if it was on your computer, you, you can kind of attach it and you're kind of recording something with a journal entry, which isn't like the best way to do it often. Like you kind of like to record stuff with the expense forms or the check, the check forms and, uh, and, and the deposits and whatnot. So this is one way you can do it, which is kind of like the fastest way so if i recorded this i'd say on the balance sheet now i've got my draws which which are actually increasing because i actually paid for a business thing from the personal side so this is kind of like an investment but it's netting out to draws the draws accounts will kind of net out and then the other side it's netting out in your equity account and then the other side is recording the actual expense to uh, to the meals and did I put it in the right uh, there it is right there but it was recorded with a journal entry and we don't have that we used the receipt possibly to make the transaction but we didn't we we didn't actually use it to build the transaction we used the receipt to know what the journal entry should be and we got it on our expense report in that way so that we can make our schedule C and have the proper deduction for the expense if it was a deductible item, but we didn't really add it with the receipt. So the other way you can you can do it is you can say, all right, well, if I had this receipt right here, uh, that I could reimburse myself for it. And that way I can have an actual transaction that would go through the bank account and give me that kind of actual physical audit trail. And then I can use this receipt to attach uh, as I do that. So to do that, you'd probably want to record this not as an expense form, but as a bill and then pay yourself and then re and record it that way. So you could say, okay, this is, this is going to be a bill to the owner, which I'm just going to set up as a vendor. And so we'll keep the date there on the bill, the memo reimburse owner for business business expense paid out of personal account and then let's say this is 041524 that's a required field and then we'll say the category that uh we're gonna put this to is once again the draws it's gonna go into uh, well, hold on. No, the category that it's going to go to is meals, meals and entertainment for 46. So what's this going to do? It's going to increase. It's a bill now. So it's going to increase the expense of 46, uh, 58 and increase the accounts payable, which is a, a liability account, just like a bill 